Hello, welcome to my collective manga haul for the month of August. This is going to be me opening packages as I get them throughout the month. As always, starting with I have a package from Right Stuff and something from Amazon. Starting with the Amazon package. And what we have is volume 3 of Yona of the Dawn. Have been waiting for this forever. Not like this specific volumes, but all the earlier ones. I've had volumes 1, 4, I think 12 and 13 for months and months and months, but finally the first like I think 15 volumes are being reprinted this month slash next month, so I will be snagging them as they come out. And this was the first one I saw on Amazon. I think I've ordered volume 5 to 11 as of now. So they'll slowly come trickling in, and I'm really excited to get more into this series as I have only read volume 1. And then for the Red Stuff box, this contains most of my end of July pre-orders. Okay, that packaging was not it. I had to like shake the box to get the big volumes out of it. Thankfully, I didn't damage any in the process, but yeah, Right Stuff's packaging has been a little weird lately. I've gotten quite a bit more damaged stuff from them than usual, but moving past that, first I got volume 14 of Toilet Pen Hanukkah-kun. These releases are coming out super fast. I think volume 15 is already in stock as of the filming of this, so not mad about that, but I am still, I think, on like volume 11 of Toilet Bound, so I have a bit to catch up on, but I am excited to do so. And then I got volume 6 of How Do We Relationship. I don't have volume 5 of this. It's out of stock right now, but I got this to be prepared for when that does come back in stock. So yeah, I'm liking this series. I'm more intrigued to see the direction of the story though. Volume 4 had kind of a plot twist, so I will keep y'all updated on my thoughts as I read on with this. And then I got volume 8 of My Senpai is Annoying. This is one I keep saying, I'm only gonna buy one more volume, one more volume. And if I don't like it, I'm not gonna continue with the series. But I keep buying them, so y'all need to hold me accountable if I say I don't like this volume, to just not buy any more. But yeah, I like My Senpai is Annoying, but it's getting kind of repetitive and I'm not too keen on some of the characters as of now in the story. But something I am super keen on, Beastars Volume 19. We're nearing the conclusion of this. I love Beastars, it's one of my favorite series, and I will be continuing to read it until the end, of course. Even though this last arc is like not my favorite thing ever, I still love, love, love Beastars. Then I got Volume 4 of Number 5 by Taya Matsumoto. I have not read this series at all, but I wanted to have the complete set to just binge it all the way through. I love Taya Matsumoto and I want to get all his works printed in English, and this is just a step closer to finishing that goal. And yeah, I'm excited to read it. I don't know anything about this. I think it's a sci-fi slash dystopian series, so I'm excited to get into it. Then I got I Think Our Son is Gay, Volume 3. Highly anticipated release for me. It kept getting pushed back. And this is one of my favorite series right now, so I'm definitely going to read this, like, immediately. I highly, highly recommend this one if you want a Own Voices LGBT plus work. And the story itself is just really cute. And then lastly, the big one, one of the anticipated series of this year, I got the first omnibus of Tokyo Revengers. I will say the quality is good, but not what I was expecting. I've been seeing some people getting them with, like, white pages, and they say it's super, like, thick and high quality, but my copy came with, like, just normal manga newspaper paper so was that only for like Kinokuniya and Barnes exclusive editions or what's going on with that? Let me know in the comments. I am happy to have this but of course I want to get like the best edition possible if I can so yeah excited to read this. I have watched the anime. I thought it was okay. I liked the concept but I think like the pacing and the animation was kind of off so I'm excited to experience it in the original medium and hopefully I like it better. I know so many people who adore and are obsessed with this manga so I'm excited to get into it and I will update my thoughts as I read it. So yes, that is my little haul for today, and I'll see you in the next clip. Hello, welcome to the next clip of this collective haul. I have quite a bit of stuff for today. Starting with, as you saw, I went to a local bookstore, and I got kind of an extra purchase. I did get another copy of Tokyo Revengers. So, as in the last clip we saw, I was kind of confused about the quality of the volume I got. And I saw this one there with the white, like, more quality pages, so I decided to pick it up. I'm not sure what the deal is. I was, like, trying to solve the mystery by talking to people on Instagram, and it seems like it's super random what type of page quality you get. Which is unfortunate. I'm sure Seven Seas had to rush this slash pump out as much as they could. But I wish they had better, like, quality control slash maybe only have the better editions for the Barnes & Noble or something. But it seems to just be very random. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, here is the copy I got from Right Stuff. It has like just the normal newspaper print paper. 
while this has like stark white paper, even the thickness of the volumes is different. Very weird since these are the same price. Like if I'm gonna pay 25 bucks for this, I hope I get the one that's in better condition. And yeah, I'm just worried about my volume too, like where I order it from, what is it gonna look like? Are they gonna match? So yeah, that's why I got another copy of this. I'll probably sell off my original. But yeah, I did read this first volume and I really liked it. So I was like, okay, might as well try to invest in the best quality edition that I could get. So yes, that is what I got from the local bookstore. And then as promised, I got a couple more things from Amazon with a lot more on the way. First, I got volume two of Yona of the Dawn. I will say it's a little bit bent up in the corner here, so I don't know if I will exchange this, but that is a good thing about Amazon. You can easily return things, but I'm excited to finally have volume two. I can actually continue the series. I think it's been like over six months of me hunting down these volumes, waiting for reprints, etc. So happy to be making some more progress. And speaking of Yona, we got another one here. We got volume five. With a pretty big misprint on the spine, but you know, whatever. At least I have this one. It came in good condition. And again, slowly chipping along on this one. I think I'm going to get the first 20 volumes and then decide from there if I like the story. And then we got something from trusty old Barnes & Noble. And it is Banana Fish Volume 17. So another series I have been struggling to collect for probably like two years now. And they're finally reprinting the missing volumes I needed. I think I ordered the rest of them on Rice Stuff during like a Shoujo Beat sale a long time ago. So yeah, I think I'm missing five volumes until I can finally binge all of this. I do have enough volumes to start. I have a clear run of like one through five, I think. But I do want to wait until I collect all the volumes. And that seems like it's going to be possible by the end of this year, which is really exciting. This was in a Barnes & Noble order of a bunch of like pre-order for stuff coming in stock order. And a lot of them got cancelled. I had some slam dunk volumes in that some nana volumes and they keep sending me emails about delays and cancellations and whatever so I think I'm just gonna stick to Amazon to be honest for these restocks even though it is full price that's okay I'd rather just have the volumes I've been waiting so long for them and I don't have to deal with them canceling my orders etc and then lastly for today I got something from eBay I don't order manga from eBay very often give me a moment with this Okay, finally free from the clutches of the saran wrap, I got the first four volumes of Oku. So yes, I won this lot. It was an auction on eBay and I think I paid like $5 each for these volumes, which is really good. But I've been interested in the series for a while and recently I've been hearing Tony's manga rave about it. And I recently read House of Five Leaves, which was a samurai like historical manga. So I was looking for another historical manga and this seems like the one I want to try. All I know is it's about... A society where men are dying out because of a disease and women kind of rule everything so the men are kept as concubines in the palace and seems really interesting educational historical drama filled whatever so i'm excited to get into it and happy to have the first four volumes the quality on these is very good they have this like matte buttery texture and yeah i'm excited to get into it and please note the explicit content warning so i'm sure this is going to be a more mature series but i'm excited to get into this and glad i was able to get a deal i am not one to really get the deals on this channel as you know so it's nice when once in a while i get a break but yeah oku first four volumes got some good stuff today and i'll see you in the next clip hello today we got a couple packages but very exciting ones starting with something from amazon the package is a little worn for wear but hopefully what's inside is okay and it's another volume of yona if you could guess Again, slowly chugging along on these. This got a little dented up in the corners, but not bad. So I'm happy to have this. And then another package from Amazon. And this one is really exciting because it's the last volume of Haikyuu I needed to complete my set. When I started seriously collecting this, this volume was out of stock and it has been out of stock for like maybe over a year at this point. But I'm really excited to have it and I plan to reread Haikyuu soon as I've never read it physically, only on Shonen Jump app when it was releasing. So yes, happy to be able to reread it finally. It was a long time coming. And then I have a package from Alibris. First, I got volume two of A Galaxy Next Door. I read volume one and I enjoyed it enough to continue on to volume two, maybe more so out of curiosity than enjoyment, but nonetheless, I'm glad to have this. Then I got volume two of Run On Your New Legs, another volume one that I enjoyed. I am a sucker for anything sports though, so I'm not surprised that I liked it. A bit of a slow start with volume one, but I'm excited to continue with it. And then something kind of random, I got volumes one and two of Imakoi. 
And I have heard like mixed reviews on this, but the only bad things I've heard about it are that it's kind of boring. But something about it keeps catching my attention, I don't know. I do like romance stories where the couple gets together quite quickly and then the story is more of their relationship developing from there. And I've heard that's what this is. So I'm excited to get into it. And these volumes are really nice. They have more of a matte texture, which I was not expecting. So yes, volumes one and two of Imakoi. And then lastly, probably the thing I'm most excited for in this, Tales of the Kingdom volume one by Asumika Nakamura. I know almost nothing about this other than it's by Asumika Nakamura, which is one of my favorite mangakas. I am always vouching for more of her stuff to be brought over in English. And this is one of her only works I have not read at all. So I'm excited to get into it. It's in a nice hardcover edition from Yen Press and also has an explicit content warning, so be mindful of that. And yeah, I will update my thoughts once I read this, but I'm really excited to have it. And this was a nice, kind of short segment, but a lot of good stuff in here. Hello, welcome to the last clip of this haul with some more exciting things. I feel like I say that in every clip, but why would I buy something if I'm not excited for it? So that being said, we have some stuff from Amazon, something from CD Japan, and some pickups from Barnes & Noble, so I'll start with those. First, we have Blue Lock Volume 2. Highly anticipated. I really liked Volume 1, so I'm excited to continue with this. It's one I'm even tempted to buy digitally because these are coming out, I think, every other month, which isn't too slow, but like something about the series makes me want to continue really bad. So definitely reading this today. Then I got Volume 15 of Toilet Ban Hanukkah Kun. I feel like I got Volume 14 in this haul as well. They are just like releasing these super fast. And I haven't had a chance to catch up because they just keep coming out. I think I'm on Volume 11. So now I have a good chunk to binge. I'm pretty sure volume 16 comes out next month as well. So yeah, never a shortage of Hanukkah-kun. And then something kind of random if you're new to my channel, I got volume two of Dorara SH, the light novel. I still haven't started this, but Dorara is my favorite anime. It's based off a light novel. I haven't read the original light novels, but I of course like love, love, love the anime. And recently I've been in my feels about it and figured I should finally get into the sequel light novel. So yes, this is a sequel to the main story. If you've watched all of the anime, it should be fine to jump into this because that is what I'm gonna do. Because the original like light novel series in English, some of the volumes are out of print and they're hard to get, so yeah. I will update once I finally start this. I think they're up to like volume four already. So I'm a bit behind, but we're slowly getting there. And then for a new series that I decided to pick up, I picked up The Apothecary Diaries, volumes one and two to try. The premise seems really interesting. I've been getting into some more like historical-ish manga lately. And I've only heard good things about this, so I'm excited to try it out. I believe there was like volume 5 out when I was there, but I decided not to go too crazy. I just got volumes 1 and 2. I did see Tokyo Avengers, the second omnibus there, but I didn't pick it up because it had like the newspaper paper, so I'm not sure if like the nice quality release was just for volume 1. Like, I don't know what is happening, so I'm gonna keep my eye out at some other stores to see if I could find like a good quality volume 2, and if not, I'll just have to get the newspaper print 1. But yeah, a little five volume haul from Barnes & Noble and then getting into the packages. And sticking with the theme of this video, I got volume six of Yona of the Dawn. Again, they're reprinting these. I think now I have volume eight and nine on order. So yeah, just expect to see more Yona. I'm gonna try to get the first 20 volumes. I think I mentioned this already. I don't even know. I film these clips like weeks apart sometimes. So if I repeat stuff, I'm sorry about that. And then the other Amazon package. And I got volume 9 of Gintama, another kind of random one, but I saw a listing for this pop up on Amazon, someone let me know about it, and this was $7 used like new condition, and the only thing that's wrong with it is a little bit of yellowing, but yeah, this is one of the volumes that has been going for a lot, so really happy that I was able to snag it, plus my favorite character is on the cover, so yes. Slowly trying to collect Gintama, honestly, like, I was gonna give up on it, like, even a few weeks ago, but someone sent me this listing and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna keep trying. If you're familiar with my channel, I don't really go for these like out of print, really hard to find series. I don't like find joy in the hunt for stuff. So unless I've like watched the anime for something like Nana, I'm usually not super willing to like give a shot to these rare series. So yeah, I think I'm missing like four or five volumes of Gintama, but they're all the expensive ones. I'm forever hoping for a reprint. I haven't paid a lot for any of the volumes yet. And I would like to keep it that way. So yes, volume 9 of Gintama in good condition. Glad I took a risk with an Amazon listing. And then this last package is like extremely special to me. It's not going to be special to most people watching this, I don't think. But I wanted to include it in here. Actually, scratch that. I wasn't going to include this because I felt like I would be like a mess opening this. And I didn't want it to be on camera. But you know what? It's okay. Y'all see my bads and my goods on this channel. So I will open it up. And like I mentioned, this is from CD Japan. 
And I'll start with this little parcel. This is not the like big thing I was talking about, but I am still really excited for these. First, we have Candy, which is by the author of Sasaki and Miyano. So I think there's Sasaki and Miyano art and then also some art from the spinoff series. These two. And yeah, Sasaki Miyano has like really grown on me lately. I really like it. The anime was well done. Like everything about it, it just gets me. And I do like the art style. So I decided to pick it up. I have not got an art book in a hot minute. I'll just do like a really quick flip through. I might do like an in-depth one on my Instagram, like on the reels or something. But it looks like these are some of the manga covers. Really beautiful. I really like it. But yeah, I don't want to be here for hours showing you all the pages, but... These illustrations are really nice and I will be looking at this multiple times, many times in the future. I just really like the art. It's so nice. And this was not that expensive. I think it was only like, yeah, 30 bucks. But on CD Japan, I think it was like 20 and the yen is really low right now. So this whole package of everything cost me like 90 bucks, including DHL shipping. So I do recommend CD Japan if you want stuff directly from Japan. I kind of grouped this order. Some of these things came out in like June, July, and August. So I had to wait like three months for it, but I didn't mind. I knew that going into it. And next we got the Blue Period art book. This is hardcover. I was not expecting it. And the reason I got this was because Blue Period is licensed by Kodansha in the United States. And they don't really put out art books translated in English. That's been like a thing lately. They had like the Toilet Bound Hanko-kun one for Yen Press. So I was expecting like maybe Candy might get one. But for Blue Period, I had really like low expectations of it ever coming in English, but I feel like they announced an English art book from Kodansha. Maybe my memory is not serving me well, but like that was announced after I bought this. So maybe we will get it in English eventually, but I'm happy to have it like on release date. This one was also around like 25, 20 US dollars. I think the mangaka had like an exhibition and this was a part of it. And I've learned my lesson with like exhibition art books with Asabika Nakamura. They rarely get reprinted. So I don't know if that'll be the case with this one, but I just wanted to have it just in case because I missed out on many and other art book that I wanted. But again, just going to be a quick flip through. Blue Period is one of my favorite series ongoing right now. So I figured I'd really wanted the art book because yeah, the art is stunning. And this is a series about art as well. So yeah, I don't know what more to say, but it looks like it has some interviews as well. Some stuff about the exhibition. The art is like commissioned in the series. The artist doesn't draw everything themselves, but yeah, I thought this would be a cool piece to have and I'm really happy with it. And it came with a bookmark. And yeah, I'm just really happy to have this. So yes, now let's get to the big one. So like I said, this might not seem like the big one to most people, but what I have is the 16th and 17th volume of Kimi Tupoku, which are the final volumes. And when I tell you this was like the most unexpected thing of the year for me, it was the most unexpected thing of the year for me. So Kimi Tupoku is like one of my all time favorite series. It's not licensed in English digitally or physically. You can watch the anime first two seasons on Crunchyroll, but I have been following the series for like almost 10 years now. And it has been on a hiatus for I think five years is when volume 15 came out and the author was like on a hiatus because of their health and it's a slice of life series so I was like okay with where it ended it didn't like bother me a ton that it was probably never gonna be finished but out of nowhere the author just like said okay I'm dropping the final two volumes and when I tell you like I cried I laughed I screamed I don't think the uh translations are out for this yet by like fan scans so I may have to whip out like Google Translate on these volumes, but I'm really excited to have them. I mean, like even the art style has changed after all these years. I do have all of these volumes in Japanese. I even bought some of them when I was in Japan in like 2017. So yes, I adore this series a lot. And to celebrate like the last two volumes, they also released an art book. So yes, this is like the art book finale of this haul. I will, I don't know if there'll be spoilers, but this series is just gorgeous. I love the art so much. I have the other art book for this. I've shown it on my channel, I think maybe like last year I got it. But yeah, I adore, love, stan, Kimutoboku. If you want to read it, I highly recommend or watch the anime. It's just a slice of life story about these high school guys kind of just figuring out life. And it is one of my favorite things. I haven't found another series like it that I enjoy to this extent. And yeah, it's like bittersweet to have the conclusion. I'm sure like I'll be a mess reading it. But yeah, like, look at this art! It's so gorgeous. I love the watercolor, like, fine line style. It's so good. 
my voice my voice is quivering oh my gosh i love the series i'm really happy to have it oh my gosh it's not a bl story don't like no this is not a bl but um the just the friends the friends they're so adorable like i love i love i'm not gonna show like the last couple pages maybe they're spoilers but yeah thank you for watching this haul sorry this last clip was just me being like bleh but yeah i know like more people watch my haul so i guess i'll say it here but i don't really want to announce that i'm taking a hiatus or anything like that but just like don't expect a ton of videos from me going forward like i want to have a haul and a reading log for sure every month but yeah this month i was actually hospitalized for some mental health crisis type stuff i just have a lot of stuff going on in my life and I do love YouTube. It does not cause me stress at all, but it's just like one more thing on my plate when I don't really like take care of myself as well as I should. So yeah, I just wanted to make that little announcement. My videos will be more scarce. It's not like I post a ton on YouTube anyway, but if you're looking for like more manga creators, I highly recommend going to my list on my profile. If you look at like channels, you'll see all the people I'm subscribed to and like they're all awesome. Go give them some love. And yeah, so just wanted to say stay safe, stay happy, stay healthy, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.